Hey. Hey. What's up, everybody? Hey. We're the normies, and we're back to watch mm -hmm. La Oficina, uh, yeah, The so Office. Fun. This is the Dream Team, season five, episode twenty-two. Hey. What? Hey. Ooh, the Dream Team? Hey. My name is uh, Serge Scott. Hey. I'm Pat. It's Mikhail Scott. This is Barqueta. Scott. I'm Spidey. Scott. This is Chris Scott Johnson getting all Scott free. I got my Scott tape, and if you can, Scott, Scott Evil. Scotch tape. What's your guys' uh, favorite Dream Team right now? Go. Um, for what sport? Like, from like there's Goku only one Dream Team and Vegeta. What do you mean? Okay. NBA is all into about the Dream Team. Come on now. Oh, I thought NBA. you meant like the Z Force. What? Oh. Well, you, Michael you, you Jordan. Um, Kevin O'Neal. Um, what are we Dewan talking about? Son, uh, Jared Fogel, Reggie Miller, and Reggie Miller. Kobe. Bro, that was my favorite one too. Larry Bird. What are Jared um, Fogel. Yeah. The, the other Remember classics. Remember Jared Fogel, man? He was on the DJ team, Diesel. <laughs> Bro, are you serious right now? Wait, what? Wait, what? Jared you don't Fogel. know even Kevin O'Neal? Jared Fogel? And, ja and Jared Kevin O'Neal was Subway, wait, wait, right? Wait, Jared Fogel. Jared Fogel and Kevin O'Neal won the Dream Team, too, yeah. Oh, they were are not. you fucking with us? N bro, no. No, he's right. About it. He's totally yes. right. Literally, Chicago, yeah. 1993, bro. Dream Team. Okay, okay. no, no. I was talking yeah. Jared the, Fogel. That's Jared the, Fogel the and guy. Kevin O'Neal. Sure. There is only one Jared Fogel. You're 100% yeah. sure. Bro. And he was diddling kids. Bro, you have him mistaken for the basketball god himself, Jared motherfucking Fogel. Jared Fogel made Jared Fogel look bad. Bro, I'll put $100 on this shit right now. Well, Shake the fuck. Well, if you Google him, he doesn't come up. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you, guys. He should change his name. He played for the Ohio That's Sun. I anyway. I change my name. <laughs> anyway, Michael Scott has chosen to quit. Charles Miner is the new uh, regional manager at Scranton. He is a no-nonsense CEO, so finally we get to see what the office runs like with the no-nonsense CEO. Mm. Michael Scott's going to start the Michael Scott Paper Company. I'm excited. I finally get to watch new Supercut episodes with Corey when I go home later today. I will say the Supercuts have been, like, phenomenal lately, man. I, I, I almost wish we would have watched them. For real? They're, 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 the whole ass storylines are, like, included. It's so good. Damn, but I need that, that ship has sailed. Well, here we are, getting ready at it. Now to market substitute support to the OG content. Feel free to support the numbers over on Patreon. Support the numbers on Patreon means you get to watch ahead. You get to watch on cuts in. Participate in polls. Also, Dream Team. Where, you, where were you guys fucking talking about this Basketball. whole time? Basketball. The only Dream Team is the Normies. Bam. Oh, bam. 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 Bigelow. You're right. I'm Jordan. Y'all don't even like working here. The Riz is on 100%. You know what I mean? I forgot. <laughs> here we go. You yeah, can't go through the subtitles. Thanks. What's that neat? <laughs> oh, yeah, they put Kevin on phones. What the fuck? <laughs> Please hold while I transfer you. Oscar, your mom! <laughs> I think Kevin is doing exactly as well as anyone might have expected. That's pretty much book. thought we nailed the whole transfer thing earlier. Wrote it on my hand, <laughs> but then I washed it. <laughs> <laughs> At least he washed it. Andy, get ready. Ugh. Ah! Kev, Kev, come on. Hustle. You are murdering the Nardos. <laughs> <laughs> You're bad at this, too. Oh, my God. You're bad at this, too. Hey. Hey. <laughs> my maid died. <laughs> what? You have a maid? Yeah, how could you afford a maid? He rich, bro. He went to a poor nail. I mean, this was the early 2000s. I thought it was a customer they were going to lose. <laughs> yeah. My maid died. <laughs> That's so random. <laughs> did you guys know that John Krasinski did uh, that one TV show uh, where everybody, The Last of Us? I don't trust shit Chris says to me. <laughs> Today is my first day at my new job oh God, at Michael see Scott Paper Company Incorporated. It's at his house. Oh, good. My hooker's here. Huh? <laughs> Are you wearing anything under the rope? That is inappropriate, Pam. <laughs> <laughs> This looks great, Michael. Just Thank a bunch you. of school supplies. We this was the Normie studio for a while. And Serge was out here dick dangling. <laughs> All right. As you know, I will be running the branch while we search oh Michael for replacement. Uh oh, <laughs> shit. Did I stutter stand? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jim, help it. I need your eyes up front. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> Jim, oh, I feel so bad for Jim lately. Yes. <laughs> The new boss does not find Jim adorable. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so how are you feeling about the new company? Yeah, I haven't done sh Oh my god. Oh, that looks delicious though. Yeah. Does it? He needs to work. He's panicking. Michael, just stop for a second. Oh no. He's having a breakdown. Let me have- oh. Just give me- Fine! Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
At least he's at his own house. I would never eat it. Right, I would be freaking the fuck out. Right missile now. man Jeez. egg on your face. This is pathetic, isn't it? Yeah. I gave up the Bam, followed you, bro. I love to do this. Oh my god. Oh god. It's not what I'm doing. I'm egging my crocs. Yeah. <laughs> I love crocs. He's Pat. Pat. Wow. You got, you got egg in your crocs. <laughs> I haven't done that yet, though. Something I like to do is make a list and then start with the easy stuff. Step one, put on a shirt and pants. Okay. First, work out. You did that. <laughs> Check. We need to come up with one realistic thing that we could do today. What about a business plan? A simple sales team. A dream team. Oh. Okay, Ryan. No. <laughs> Why? He's everything I'm not and everything I am. What? Oh, thick grump. Best salesman I've ever met. Oh, from that one job. <laughs> so we have a meeting this afternoon with a potential investor. Barbara Kivas, she invests in local businesses. And Pam, how do you believe anything he says? Michael, like, that's fantastic. You yeah, really think this is true? Yeah. Come on, Pam. Um, <gasps> we need to get you drunk. <laughs> you look great. Let's go. <laughs> Good She's his personal assistant at this point. <laughs> You a soccer fan? Uh, you weren't supposed to see this. This is like my secret obsession. Uh, well, that makes two of us. Because he did his research and he's brown nosing. Mm -hmm. I was actually in Germany for the 2006 World Cup Finals. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was just watching a slideshow. He was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Cool. Who was me? Wow. Michael Scott Paper Company. Violation of your condominium agreement to conduct a business headquartered in your residence. I'm going to add find office. How are we going to find an office? Next on the list, song parodies. Okay, achy breaky fart. <laughs> no, 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 my stumps, like my humps, but my no legs. The guy with no legs. Achy breaky fart though. <laughs> Don't break my fart. <laughs> my achy breaky fart. I prefer uh, Maradona. Uh, Diego Maradona. They yeah, taking notes also. <laughs> I didn't know we had so many uh, soccer fans in the office. You a fan of the game? Oh no, it's not for everybody, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Player. Huh? Yeah, oh, bet. really, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Oh, this is great. You never ever talk about it. <laughs> Bro, lace up your sambas and fucking show them oh, what. Uh, maybe we will someday. Maybe you will tonight after work. What a great see? idea, Dwight. <laughs> <laughs> He's smiling so hard. <laughs> no, uh, uh, what, have you what have you stepped into? You gotta, you Finally, Jim is eating some shit. You gotta fake a sprained ankle. I used to play soccer at least. Oh. I was on the orange team. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, I think yeah. everyone's played soccer as a kid. Man, you remember those? Vikram! Oh, they're gonna get champ kind. What's his name? Todd Packer. Yep. Be excited. Be, be excited. Get into the bathroom real quick. You just going right here in the parking lot, bro? Where did you stop? He you? seems really confident. He can't be. It's the fool of the wise man, but the liquor of the fool. Uh-oh. Mm. Bruh. Mm. Bruh. Yeah. Looking forward to getting Not to know you better, Vikram. I would like a pair of size 9, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, what is he doing? What is going on here? What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he did get in a lot of trouble. Like, yeah. I thought he was in Thailand or something. <laughs> he went on a boys trip, came back and bleach blonded his hair. What's going on? Hi. Hey, Ryan. See you. This wasn't on the list. When did you add this to the list? <laughs> <laughs> Deserves a second, a second chance. Second, second. <laughs> second, second. <laughs> How much do you get paid here? $60,000 each. Bullshit. 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 <laughs> There's no way. Get the fuck out of here. Time to work, you bitch. Damn. Oh. <laughs> Are those men's 10? No. He's still like Okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why did he still Bro, no, what's happening? <laughs> what is that? The it's fall the, of Ryan. It's, it's the A team, bro. The fall of <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> hey, that is crackhead behavior. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> it's good to see uh, Ryan again. Uh, Alfred, he but looks up. at what cost? Uh, duo. He sets him up. <laughs> hey, Charles, Charles is actually loosening up, though. I can't, my life. Yeah, I can't wait to play him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> That's what she said. You guys want to hear about It's going to be the war. Oh, yeah. Sure. It was indescribable. Because he didn't go. <laughs> That's all he ever says. Describing Manhattan, too. <laughs> like, you, you just don't get it. Indescribable. Hi, Michael. Oh, this is the invest. Yep. 
Pam, yeah, see, you should have known. Huh? Do they even have money? You brought all the employees well, here. I appreciate you meeting with us here today. Like, yeah. oh, <laughs> I, I think he's actually going to get money from them. Like, But they don't have that kind of money, though. Uh, yeah, you never know. They probably do. Old people have the most disposable income. They do not. Yeah, because in the retirement home, someone's paying for that. From our very own Scranton, Pennsylvania, Pam Beasley. Meet Vikram from his humble beginnings as a prominent surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> Michael's Nana played Saul's, Saul's Bubby from Pineapple Express. Ryan Howard is about to I think that might be the same grandma from Pineapple Express, too. Paper. Yeah. <laughs> what the actual fuck is happening? I think so. <laughs> what? You mean the theme search said not more than 10 seconds ago? <laughs> hey, man, I'm focused on the show, dude. I don't be listening to you guys. <laughs> How do you expect to turn a profit? I thought you were fucking with me. I know, that's what I thought, too. I've done it before. <laughs> I will not be beat. That is Michael Scott guarantee. It's like he's doing a book report that he didn't oh, that's read. That's gonna be hilarious. Jim, what do you play? <laughs> Just say center. Four. Okay, striker, huh? Striker. Let's see what you got in those legs. This is a bad idea. Do a rainbow. Ted Lasso. <laughs> it's supposed to be the kickoff. Kickoff. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, look, you can hide amongst the incompetence. You could have Googled shit. Yeah, and you, no. uh, you still need to know what to do with your legs. Yeah, that's a, yeah. <laughs> Google how to play soccer right now. I have no idea. I don't know about this. We could just give him a chance. It's not much money. This might not be the right time, but I need more than I originally asked. <laughs> this isn't a handout club, it's an investment club. <laughs> okay, oh, okay. I love you, yeah, Michael, but no. Pam's gonna save it. Good. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Did he actually pout? Yes. There is some good questions. <laughs> what kind of a name is Nano? It means grandmother. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> You want to succeed, huh? You've got to apply the same. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Bye, Vikram. He was about to give you some good advice. You did Vikram dirty. Oh, yeah. oh sweet. Oh. Bro, he's too tall. Sweet cheese. <laughs> 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 oh. oh. Damn! Yo, oh, that was a stunt. <laughs> she really took that. Sorry, fellas. Oh, yeah, Jim, sorry. <laughs> yeah, he, Charles is on the kick it. Yeah, but Jim should have kicked that back, bro. That was a thing. Yeah, he should have chested it, bro. Yeah, he didn't have to duck. <laughs> Soccer balls yeah. are hard, though. I know. Do not so great Pam's got the I've made a huge mistake look. Oh, yeah. I can't do this. Go back. I can't do no. this. No. Go somewhere I else. I was just feeling impulsive. I should have gotten a tiny tattoo on my ankle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do something uh, like go to the art like school this. thing. Yeah. Who does this? The art well, school is a reasonable it. thing to yeah, do. Yeah, she needs to do that. We don't have an office. We don't have anything. Well, we should make a list. <laughs> I'm the only one who went with you. Is it because I'm that stupid? I mean, your own Loki. grandmother doesn't even believe in you. Damn shit. I mean, this. Ooh. Says... All right, Michael. Nana, you better say something big here. I want you to listen to me. All right, here we go. You quit your job. I quit my job. We both quit. What are our choices right now? We can start this paper company. We can try. That's it. That's our only option. <laughs> There's a, oh my God. And I do my best work when people don't believe in me. Yeah. That is true. I remember in high school, my math teacher told me I was going to flunk out. The very what? next day, I went out and I scored more goals than anyone in the history of the hockey team. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> I'm going to go inside. He's going to figure it out, I guess. And I'm going to show you why you joined this company, all right? Oh, I believe in Michael. He always comes through the clutch. <laughs> he got that Kobe in him. It's got to be some sort of secret office that you have. Oh, no, not there. That would be humiliating. Oh, the warehouse? The screen? I was thinking the warehouse. I was freaking out. Pam stepped up. She was the man. They're back. Yeah, they're here. Okay. That's not, not too bad. bad. That's There's not a that shower bad. in there for some reason. That's not bad. That's pretty decent. I could see this. It's right in the middle of the paper belt. The shower back there that Chris would use? <clears throat> Hot. Don't touch. <laughs> I use the shower in this house. What? What? <laughs> You'd use it. You know what they say? Keep your friends close. <laughs> that's it. That's the end. That's, not, that's the end of the quote. You're back. Yes, I am, Charles. If I were you, Charles Minor, I would floor is watch it? your step. Hey, <laughs> Pam. <laughs> you look scared. Okay. I, what's, yeah. What the? Huh? Is it on the 200th? Like, is it on the second level also? With I think so. Uh, it's in the building. 
uh, you know, Michael Scott would jump out of an airplane without a parachute and somehow still land on the ground. Oh, for sure. <laughs> and he would committed. float down on confidence. Yeah. Look, I, I appreciate all the confidence, but no. Nah. I'm worried. To- What's that word for a person who's got a lot of confidence and, you know, a, a con man? Yeah, he doesn't like nah, no. No. Yes, man. He's not cunning enough. enough to be a con. No, nah, he's he's more. I know he's got actual con. I just he's, he's Johnny Bravo. Yeah, <laughs> but I wouldn't work for Johnny Bravo. But Pam's out here being uh, he's just oblivious. kid's name Susie. What did Johnny Bravo even do? Why did even she, Why did she even follow Michael? That does I mean, that was a good question. She was impulsive and being yeah. stupid. Uh, well, look, she lets things build up and build up, and then she makes an impulsive decision. Do you want to be a receptionist at a failing? Paper, paper company, company yeah. all your life, or do you want to quit that job and take a risk to start a different paper company and be a secretary there instead? No, I she's understand. Going to be a, she's going to be a salesperson. I, I know, but I understand why Pam came back from her uh, school, but like, as far as an actual choice, well, let, let, let's take writing out of the equation for the character of Pam. That was a dumb move. She wasn't even in a super long program, right? Like, she could have stayed in school. She could have been a graphic designer and worked her way up and actually had a, like, future above her. But now she went to go do sales at a fucking... She knows the landscape of paper. They all do. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So was she referring to going to art school? She went to art school. I'm saying she could have been a... A graphic designer. She I mean, like, when she talked about how she makes impulsive decisions, do you think she was, like, oh, no. talking about that? I think that was probably no, the most she reasonable decision she made. She quit. Because then, when, yeah. when else have we ever seen her make a big impulsive decision? Uh, she walked on fire rocks. That's true. Uh, she kissed Jim. Well, Darth Jim those, came those back in. Good, she, some of those, those were she was dating Ryan, moments. or she was dating Roy, Roy she when was, she kissed she was, Jim. She was, so, ah, yeah, that, that there would be an impulsive decision of someone letting something build up. She'd be impulsive. Can't trust people. Yeah, yeah. cheating. Then, uh, yeah, I th- she should have stuck it out with art school, but you know she didn't want to be away from GM. Yeah, well, yeah. I think she needed to express disappointment there to make sure Michael got his shit together. Because from there, Michael could have just been like, "You're right, I'm a failure," but he actually <laughs> he gave somewhat of a good speech. <laughs> yeah, he gave a great speech. <laughs> like, Question: Well, you got one option. I either do this company or that's it. I mean, Why that's are eighty-year-olds <sighs> investing in stuff? Why not? Why not? They're 80. Yeah, what are they going to do with the money? Yeah, what, are they well, what do I'm do saying is is that, like, let's say their investment is going to take five years even. Grandkids can yeah, have you it. Said yeah, it. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you set your kids and grandkids and future generations, man. Oh, no, you know, they're trying to save themselves, bro. Nah. It's not always about you, Chris. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's about your or, legacy, or I mean, I'm going, fuck it. I'm 80 and I want to go out in a Lamborghini. So. Yeah, I'm going Viking, bro. I'm not leaving shit behind. Well, they're trying to they're you know, that ship to Aruba. I'm burying all of it. I'm they're trying to buy trying to go a to private Aruba. jet and crash it. Okay. While I'm in it, they're wow. trying to go to Bermuda. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have my family gather and and my will, like all the things I could have given to them. I'll just have the lawyer set it on fire. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually hilarious. I feel like the lawyer just would tell you he would set it on fire and then yeah, die. yeah. He, he would just keep it all. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. there was so no will. He didn't leave. He didn't leave. Oh no, he wanted me to set all of his things on fire. That's it. Over there in the corner. That's it. All over there. It's yep, on it's fire. Charred, Don't touch uh, it. It's I just bring yeah. ashes. But this was all of his stuff. Right. Okay, then I would leave that to an entrusted f- friend. To your dog. <laughs> Mickey, leave me all of your money. I will take perfectly good care of it and won't spend one single dime after you're gone. All right, bet. Promise. Yeah. Cool. What? I'm glad, I'm glad. Then what is it for? Marquetta, I'm going to spend his fucking money. What are you going to do, haunt me? Fucking that shit belong to me now. <laughs> Oh man. Uh, good episode. Yeah, good. So, yeah, I don't, old people, I guess they don't have disposable income, but they're often duped, you know, by those like QVC oh, and yeah, commercial yeah, yeah. type things. Yeah. You saw like Better Call Saul. All this social security shit. checks go to that. Even like insur- I insurance companies shit. fuck them over too, like Sandpiper. Yes. <laughs> there's like, it's a whole industry in Czech Republic because there's a lot of old people mm. and they're just going from like one like uh, hospice to another, like telling people this will cure all of their ailments and like. Send them fucking vitamin C for hundreds of dollars. Mm. It's fucking stupid. Yeah, it's I need to get me one of these old sugar mamas that's just yeah. ready to sign her. I think you mean a glucose granny. Glucose granny. Um, I think not a show. Like, original. Like, wait, go ahead. Oh, Vikram was on some real shit when he was like, yes. uh, "What do you say about confidence? Confidence, wisdom. The, I love Vikram. Wisdom is the food for confidence. Confidence oh, is confidence. the food for a wise man, but the liquor. No, that's no, he's a fool." 
I think yeah. you said wisdom. It's no, com- confidence. 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 Confidence is the food for the wise man, but liquor for the fool. Yeah. Dropping balls. Damn. Yeah. You know what they say liquor in the front, poker in the back. Liquor in the front, poker, poker in the back. You know, it's 2023. You also, the fact in the back. that yeah. Vikram used to be a surgeon, and now the only thing he can do is be in telemarketing because that he's is a common fucking thing. America. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. If you were a surgeon, you'd get a job. You get, no, you it's hard, yeah, it's hard to get accredited. It's a travel. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. a surgeon from India. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, I got you. I thought he was a surgeon from here. Yeah, I cannot get accredited to be a teacher here unless I spend like ten thousand dollars, and I'm not gonna do that because oh, teachers oh, are underappreciated teacher? anyway. So fuck that. Um, That's why you start your own teacher, school though. and privatize. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a show about old people living in a retirement home? I keep asking this. Is Only there murders one? in the building. I'm just kidding. Really? Golden know. Girls. That is a very good oh, show. Golden I don't Girls. know. Like I hear it's crazy up in there, man. Golden STD Girls. STD Central. I don't know. It would be. It would make oh, for a really man. funny show. Yeah, it let's, is STD let, Central. Let's that is make, true. Let's make Oz again, but it's like <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a nursing home. You pull up in a wheelchair. Everybody is chlamydia. Blanche in Golden Girls fucks a lot. That's yeah. like your thing, yeah. Yeah. They don't do it. They don't live in a retirement home. They all live together in a house. But yeah, Blanche absolutely be getting kicked down, bro. Tight. Yeah, and and it's true. Old folks homes are are like breeding grounds for STDs. I feel like yeah. we've all heard that. I have because no. Well, you I just have stop wearing to condoms. Experience it. Uh-huh. When you when you're old, you got no reason to wear condoms. She either got a hysterectomy or she had menopause. You could bust all day, bro. <laughs> God, why can't I remember her name from Golden Girls? She just passed away. Betty White. Betty White. Is she Blanche? No. Mm-mm. No. Never seen the show. Yeah. Well. It's not Betty White, it's not B. Arthur, it's the other one. Y'all know the one I'm talking about. Not the old, old lady, but the middle one. Y'all know Blanche. One. Blanche is the Samantha from Samantha. fucking... Uh, I'm Samantha. Yeah, yeah. I have sex with that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's been Samantha vibes. Uh, let's start a Normie's paper company. No. Well, I think let's start a Normie's news... Let's start a Normie's magazine. <laughs> hey, you know, hey, actually, you, you guys know there's a such thing as stone paper now. We can make we can make paper out of stones. What? Yeah, stone paper. Now. We can so do we can, so. We can do an ethical like you know so we're pa- going paper company. Back to ethical. St- yeah, stones because st- there's ethical. plenty of stones. We could call it Normie's magazine. Yeah. And so like, you're saying two stones? No, like st- like I don't know. Thin stones. Engrave, Normie's magazine. Can do what? No, stones? like literally paper, but it's made out of stones. Stone I don't dust. know how it works, but it's called stone. It's paper. still just dust and powder. Same we do with trees and more. And then you just write on it. That sounds awful. No, it's actually it's actually it's like smoother. It's better. I mean, really? better than it's wood. Like well, I thought it was gonna be hard. No, no, no. I like it's, that. it's literally like you can't. It's paper. It's Can you paper, climb it? But it's made out of stop it. Stop it. Maybe if you put in, he's gonna say it's stone paper. If you put if you put it up on the wall, can you smoke weed in it? Because it's stone. Now that that we could we could test that theory. I don't know. I was gonna. I think I was gonna say we advertise for it. Like you can ask your. Do you remember the stupid Nickelodeon magazine commercial? Bro, Nickelodeon yeah. magazine was awesome. Ask your parents for Nickelodeon magazine, please. Right. They'd mow to the lawn and had it say, Nickelodeon magazine, please. <laughs> yeah. <It was> like, <laughs> kids can't order their own magazine. So it was a three-minute long commercial telling you how many different ways you could ask your parents for Nickelodeon magazine. That seems yeah. illegal. Yeah, yeah I guess that, that was a thing. And then I went with highlights. Anyway. Oh, no. Yeah, highlights. Bro, when I was, I was at the dentist, ooh, I could, ooh, the spot, the, mm. Anyway. We'll see you guys at the next one. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching The Office and a special shout out to the Super Normies, Darlin Felix, Cortez, Tyler Russell, Matthew Taylor, and our elite Normie, Anthony Hardy and Joe Mags. Thank you guys.